Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marangal YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about checks during engine room run. What are the checks that we need to do in our daily as a daily routine as a duty engineer? The best approach that we all know to start the round is from the funnel area, then then to the bottom plateau. This is a dust method because from the funnel, from the funnel, from the color of smoke or we can understand whether the condition of engine is good or something wrong is happening. When spark coming from that, means from the funnel area, we can we can have a base understanding about the condition of engine during your watch and run. Before you start your engine, if you have you must special and done computerized, then you can check the level of tanks, all the activities in the that, uh, current levels in your computer system but if your machine is manned or even though if it is computer computerized also it is a good practice to do engine road routes from the funnel to bottom platform and during your engine road routes as an engineer we all know that we should keep spare racks gloves adjustable spare and a good torch in hand because it's a part of our routine job and we have to know the arrangement of machinery in engine room can be different but uh, the general approach as in was keeping engineer in engine room is almost same from the funnel area that we i have already mentioned we, we just trying the checking about the sparks coming the color of smoke and we will calculate like the condition of uh, fire fire trap fire flaps and if your vessel have from then we will enter the waste heat boiler, boiler platform then we will, if you have your vessel have waste heat recovery system then you have to check the level of water in the high pressure and low pressure drum too then when, when you find it within the limit and road, then, then no problem then you, you can check the level of water in the expansion tank whether it is good then then we will go to the other area if it is drastically the level of water in the expansion tank is less then we have to fill it and to, uh, to maintain a current level then if it has dropped drastically from the previous day then you have to check the system very well then you have to look at the oil fed boiler like the mainly the flame quality then fuel to air pressure then water level indicator and the, from the from the we can understand the control panel from the control panel and all the indicators and the, from the gauges and all what are the current condition whether it is good or not when in the air condition condition plan the accommodation usually some some guys will skip this but it's an important step you have to go to the air condition plan because in your watch you have to you have to be more responsible and you have to check the inlet and outlet temperature the ampere of the pumps and you have to check as, as an engineer whether it, there are some leakage and all some soft touch and all by using the torch you can have a, a quick look about the refrigeration level whether it is good or not because we have there is a, we need to put the refrigeration oil or not it's a good practice to do this also then calorify have a look for the steam leaks and the water level it is also a good practice then now when we come to the platform there will be compressors and air bottles then we, we have to check we have to check the oil levels in the compressor when, when the oil level is less we can fill the we fill it with the oil and all then drain the air bottles and we, if, if it is too much uh, drain the air bottle till the time that you don't see water is coming out because some moisture content will be there so we have to drain it till, till the water content stops uh, then then you can check the cooling water of the compressor then next when we generally go to the same platform we will have the that is uh, that is the what dehydrator de triangle and we can check that whether there is any signs of leak and we can check the uh, heavy fuel oil service tank then heavy fuel oil setting tank temperature generator oil temperature then in the same platform we can check the condition of generator hclt whether uh, then whether the temperature is good or not then you can check the sample level in the generator uh, and then the in the, 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 the bottom platform then you can have you can see purifier severe treatment plan then fresh, your fresh water generator is running you can check the 
uh, whether it is working or not and you can note the reading because so that you can understand how much water has been produced then when the sewage treatment is working then you can understand whether it is working good or good or not then for the fuel then then for the fuel purifier you can check the temperature and the feed rate whether it is running in a good condition or not and the purifier temperature whether, whether it is within the limit or above or low and all you can check about the purifier then then filter then for the jet filter hey that is heavy fuel oil filter that, that also we can check whether it is working or not and what just like we can also note down how much fuel uh, fuel oil consumption from that reading we can understand heavy fuel oil consumption and then when we go to the uh, then we go, uh, go to the bottom platform we can check the all the machineries whether it is the whether it, uh, is that you can check the sample level whether it is in the from the main engine bottom platform you can check the sample level whether it is water the level whether it is good or not and usually this pro this type of proper wash keeping is necessary wash keeping means uh, engine room round is necessary it should be done you to during by practice we can done uh, check this machine within uh, within 15 to 20 minutes then thank you